Oh, it's chill. Ah, oh, do it. Make a package. Not up there. Oh, it's right there. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Very really empty turn. Hmm, I did not open that. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, hairnet. Keep dust out of the system. Ah. Hey, look at using a hairnet. Now you have a little shield for your bun. <laughs> this, is, this is the nicest haircut to the decade. Yes, I love it. Look. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh man. Use the remote. I don't know. This remote looks big. Oh no, it's big. Oh no. Oh my god, mama. Look at this joker. What the? Wow. What the heck? Okay, this is a. Uh, this is way bigger. Now, the MT10 has that name because it is one tenth scale. So, basically, if we compare it to, like, let's say, voltage, it'd be round about the same wheelbase and basically the same length. Let's get this thing worked on already. Huh, what do you think? The the MT ten voltage there is a beginner MT ten, but I'm no. Now it has a three S team associated ESC with a reedy three thousand three hundred kilovolt motor. Probably also can handle three S. Oh that's neat, the drive train's enclosed. Oh that's nice. Look the drive shaft is like covered. Uh, yeah, it's completely covered. That's nice. One thing I like is the clips have a little lip on them, so they're way easier to take off. The shocks really can dampen a landing. You can't lose a wheel nut, you can only lose these caps. And you can bash it at night time. Because it does have front and rear lights. They are plugged in. Another thing they use is these DANES connectors, which these are what I'm getting adapters for. It seems like it can both fit hard and soft shell light posts. It has a wheelie bar, but it can do wheelies like very high, like... Wow, look at that! The remotes on these things are much chunkier than the others. This is Orma's remote, directly from them. The ATX 101, and this one right here is the XP 120 from Team Associated. Now I hope I can trust this workshop not to give me no problems, and I can fix this thing in peace. <laughs> These caps, first of all, are hard to take off. Luckily I got some needle nose pliers. Hopefully these will work. Oh. Oh, that works much better. Well, I hope I can twist them out by hand. Uh, are you supposed to just come straight out or what? How do these things come out? Do you have, is it screwed? Tell me now. Oh, it is. Ah, uh, guys. It was quite hard, it took me a while, and it got dark quick, but the new arms on aren't on there yet, you can look at each side, they're not on. I had a hard time and I ended up getting frustrated because you can't even take the wheels off on the dumb thing without the whole different thing moving. Now I don't even know if I have the wheel on completely on, and now this won't go back on, so... We're gonna go to a hobby shop.